ंग or listing that okay sound as you know that sound is the form of energy which produce auditory sensation means you can hear it and you can get the message with the help of it now we are going to learn that how the sound can be produced the production of sound there are some examples for example suppose you are <coughs> having your fingertips against the front of your throat and producing sound means a vocal cord is moving vibrating or suppose you are producing sound with the help of a tuning fork means the prongs of the tuning forks are vibrating so whenever you are trying to produce sound you will see that there must be a vibratory body there without vibratory body sound can never be produced so vibratory body is a must requirement to produce sound for example this tuning fork is vibrating part a and b these are the two prongs which are vibrating it can be produced vibrated produce, produce vibration by hitting with something as you have seen in the lab, laboratory as well so whenever they are vibrating they are producing crest and troughs means they are vibrating pushing the air particles close together when the particles are much closer to each other compressions are produced and when they expand the rarefactions are produced there is the actual picture of a tuning fork they are somehow different from the tuning fork of the library laboratory sorry this example shows that the sound is caused by vibration any vibrating object can be a source of the sound waves means producer with the help of that we are producing that is the source sound waves are longitudinal in nature do you remember that what is the meaning of longitudinal those waves which have vibration and the propagation parallel to each other or in the same direction now propagation of sound you have learned that how the sound can be produced and you know that what is the meaning of sound sound in the longitudinal wave it require a medium for propagation it is vibration and the propagation are parallel to each other and sound can be produced by the vibratory body now propagation of sound when a loud speaker cone vibrates vibrate means that it is the source of the sound it moves forward and backward very fast the squishes and the stretches air in front as a result series of the compressions means squishes and the rear faction means it stretches as we have seen in the last <laughs> slide as well that the compressions are squishes and the rear faction are the stretches travel out through the air these are sound waves when they reach our ears they make your ear drum vibrate and the vibration of the ear drum is a sensation that you call the hearing actually if you are listening something means the brain is converting the meaning of that sound wave into your required signal so the vibration of the ear drum causes you hearing and the sound is reaching to you with the help of the medium in the form of the compressions and the rear fractions this is the another picture that is showing the compressions and the reflection this cone of the had the loud speaker vibrating which is causing the compressions and the reflection these compressions when they hit the eardrum produce the sound or you can hear that sound now what is the meaning of the compression as you know that compression is a region where the particles are close together and high pressure they have a high pressure do you know do you remember pressure <clears throat> means more collisions when they are closer to each other more collisions are there so more pressure is there 
oppositely the rarefaction rarefaction is the region where the particles are further apart and has low pressure means lesser collisions audible frequencies now you know that you cannot hear all the sounds you have particular limit of the frequencies or the particular range of the frequencies that can be heard by you that range is between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz this range of the frequency is known as audible frequency range and that is for you and it is different for the different animals as well some of the animals can hear the frequencies lower than the you than the, than the frequency you can hear means 20 hertz some animals can hear the lower frequencies the 20 hertz and some of the animals are there which can hear more than 20000 hertz for example the bats dogs etc they can hear so this audible frequency range is for the human being now you know that you cannot hear all the sounds you can hear only a particular range of the frequency that is between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz or the 20000 hertz sound waves need a material to travel through means these are the mechanical waves mechanical waves require a medium without a medium they cannot travel you have seen in the last slides that <coughs> sound waves travel in the form of the compression and the rarefaction and compressions and the rarefactions are formed with the help of the molecules if there isn't any material so there will not be any possibility for the sound waves to travel through the material that is there that is known as medium without it there is nothing to pass on any oscillation because for oscillating something is required sound cannot travel through vacuum vacuum is when there is no particle totally empty space the experiment below will show that sound cannot be travel without a medium or sound cannot travel in the vacuum this is a bell jar in which a bell, an electric bell is hung with the help of two wires and the end is completely closed initially there is some air in the bell jar whenever you connect it to the battery you will see that the hammer of the electric bell will be vibrating and it is hitting the gong a sound will be produced that can be heard by you but when you start a vacuum pump that will suck the air from the bell jar out so you will see that there will be an, a vacuum over there you cannot see but you will feel that there is vacuum in the air and as the particles will be uh, vacuumed out or expelled out from the bell jar you will see that the sound will be gradually decrease and finally you cannot hear any sound even you will be observing the bell jar the bell is ringing <coughs> because sound can travel it is electromagnetic wave it can travel through the vacuum but you cannot hear the sound means the sound cannot travel through the vacuum means it is a mechanical wave okay a speed of sound wave when it is traveling it must be having some speed a speed means the distance traveled in unit time sound can th travel through the solid liquid and the gases in all types of the material it can pass through the speed of the sound waves varies with different media sound travels faster in the solid means the greater the density the greater the speed so in concrete there is nearly 5000 meter per second in liquid it is much lesser that is 1400 meter per second in pure water and then in gases it is 330 meter per second very very low as compared to the other two type of the uh, matter high speed in solid are due to the strong forces of attraction between molecules a speed of sound depends on the temperature because temperature causes the change in the density or the force of the attraction between the particles now we are going to measure the speed of the sound or we will discuss that how can we measure the speed of the sound there are different ways one of the way will be discussed over here for that you need some apparatus for example a stopwatch and a starting pistol and measuring tape 
or you can use the trundle wheel as well because you have to measure distance. This is a diagram that is showing that how you are going to meter set up. For example, there is an observer A. I think it's me. A starting pistol in my hand. And there is an open field. There is a distance D that is measured with the help of <coughs> the trundle wheel or the measuring wheel. And observer B, I think it's it may be you, Advani. <coughs> a stopwatch is in your hand. And you will see. I, when I am making a fire with the starting pistol, there will be a flash over there. As you see the flash, you will stop the start the stopwatch. And after some time, you will hear the sound. So there should be a greater distance between us. So there should be a difference between the speed of the sound. And there should be there is there should be some uh, greater duration between the reaching of the light and the sound to you. So whenever you are observing the flash, it means that the light has reached to you. <coughs> light is moving with 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, so it will reach in a flash. So as you see, you will start the stopwatch. And when you hear the sound, you will stop the stopwatch. So the time measured by the stopwatch will be showing that how much time is taken by the sound to reach to you. So distance, as you know, that how much distance traveled, as you have, as we have already measured with the help of the measuring tape of the trundle wheel. Now you have the time as well. The so distance upon time is the speed. So you can measure the speed of the sound with the help of this form. Okay. So we are stopping our lecture over here. We will continue this topic of the sound. So we have discussed that what is the meaning of sound and how the sound is produced and how it propagates. And now we know that how can measure the speed of the sound as well. We will continue in the next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.